Hello viewers, welcome back. Another day, another exciting opportunity for all of those who are looking for a fully funded scholarship to pursue a master's degree or a PhD degree in Europe. So many of you have already heard about Erasmus Mundus scholarship and EIT Eno Energy program that are fully funded and highly prestigious uh, scholarship program offered in European Union. So this opportunity that named is EIT Manufacturing School. Here you can apply for master's degree and PhD degree and you will avail similar perks like Erasmus Mundus or EIT Inno Energy. Well, in this video, I'm going to share the following information and I will give you the answer of these questions. Number one is what diploma can participants receive at the completion of uh, their master's or PhD degree? and who can apply to the master's school so what are the language requirements like IELTS or TOEFL and how to apply and finally how are the scholarships awarded mean what is the criteria to award uh, these scholarships uh, let's begin with the general overview of this program uh, European and the international students both are eligible to apply for this uh, scholarship this scholarship is being offered uh, to the master's uh, studies and PhD studies. The good thing here, you don't have to pay any application processing fee. Here you can do this master uh, by your own uh, expense. That is the self-finance route and the other one is the fully funded uh, program. So in fully funded program, you will uh, receive around 750 euros per month as a living expense and 2000 euros one time relocation fund so these numbers i am mentioning here uh, so these were offered last year so i don't know this year what will be the uh, amount of the scholarship but anyhow more or less the range will be in these number so if i talk about the uh, deadline to apply for this opportunity so the application process will start from 1st of october 2022 for the year 2023 so there is a lot of time to prepare a nice application so guys if you are interested and if you feel that your uh, interest your research interest or your career goals align with this master's program then just simply start to prepare your application and prepare your application well and hopefully you will get this fully funded scholarship now let's move how to apply and uh, how you can find all the related information so the application process is online and you are watching uh, the url link for this uh, program now I will take you to the EIT manufacturing website to explain everything to answer all the questions that I mentioned earlier. So let's move to the website. When you click the link in the description of this video, you will land on this web page. This is the home page of EIT manufacturing school. So if we scroll down, you will see these four tabs that is the education, innovation, business creation and regional innovation scheme. So we are interested in education. Just click on this arrow and now we are fetched to the second page. Here you will see these two options. One is the EIT manufacturing doctoral school. So if you are interested to apply for a PhD program, then you will click on this. Okay. But here in this video, I will mainly uh, discuss about for the master's schools. Okay, so to learn more about uh, what are the conditions and how we can apply for this master's program, I'm going to click here. So you will direct it to this second page that is the EIT uh, manufacturing master's school. Here you will have all the uh, information to apply for one of the uh, master's program that are being offered here so here uh, there are total five different uh, programs in which you can apply so for all of uh, for all the five uh, the program brochures are here 
so for example the first one is people and robotics for a sustainable work the second program is additive manufacturing for full flexibility third one is zero defect manufacturing for circular economy uh, the fourth program is platforms for uh, digitalized value network and the last one that is a very fresh and the new one is data science and artificial intelligence for competitive uh, manufacturing so these are the five different programs in which you can apply so just uh, download all these brochures and read out all the information about these program and if you uh, feel that your uh, career goals are aligned with one of them just to focus on that program and apply and even you can have the uh, syllabus for each program okay you can download here and uh, in this master's program number of different uh, universities from different european countries are uh, involved and you will uh, spend your first year in one university and the second year in second university and uh, at the completion of your degree you will receive two master's degree so it is like similar to the erasmus mendes program where you have uh, three degrees uh, in three different universities where you uh, studied in th uh, in your uh, three different semesters but here you have uh, uh, two years of master program first year in one university and the second year in second university and you have to give the preference for these uh, different uh, partner universities okay so all the uh, partner universities are here so just scroll down them and according to your program and uh, your interest uh, select uh, the universities in your application okay so now here are the questions that uh, i were asking at the beginning of the video what diploma can particip uh, participants will receive so you will receive two master's degree that i just mentioned earlier okay so who can apply to the master's school so the students who have already uh, bsc degree with 180 credits uh, they can apply and uh, students uh, in their final year they can also apply okay and the uh, the field of studies uh, should be mechanical engineering electrical engineering computer engineering computer science information technology and industrial engineering so these are the main uh, uh, areas uh, of a background of the students to apply for this uh, uh, master's program okay now move to the language requirements so the language requirement if you have a ielts uh, the ielts score should not be uh, less than 6.5 as a, a overall score and in each section uh, it should not less than 6 and similarly for TOEFL the minimum score is 93 and in writing it should not less than 21 and 19 in other sections okay and similarly there is another uh, test that is a CAE so here you have a grades from A to C are accepted okay so these are the uh, language requirements to apply for this scholarship and uh, finally uh, how you can apply so here is the master school application portal so you just have to click on it okay and these are the application uh, uh, documents that you have to uh, upload when you are applying so you need a uh, degree and diploma certificate in its original language and translated into english uh, you will need official stem transcripts of record in original language and translated into english mean you need diploma and degree and english proficiency certificate you need a cv one motivation letter on, in two pages not more than two and a color copy of your uh, identity card or the passport identity card if you are a European Union uh, citizen but if you are applying from other countries you have to submit your passport and here are the important so these are uh, the uh, 
different requirements for each program so i will recommend you here when you are applying in a particular program just click on that program and read the brochure of that program you will have all the information for that program but the general documents are these so i think these are not a difficult one but if you have not uh, done your ides so it's a time to prepare your ides uh, and have a really good grade and apply for this uh, opportunity so if we click on it so it says confirm your citizenship so i am from portugal so uh, i will say okay yes don't ask me again so here you again you have to register yourself okay you have to sign in you give you have to give all the details and then simply you will start your application so the last thing that is very important how scholarships are awarded uh, the scholarship awarding criteria is uh, merit based so the ranking of the students are based on their academic grades gender and the country of the citizenship from where they are applying and the study track so these four factors they uh, consider and uh, make the ranking of the students and the top rank students uh, uh, receive the scholarship automatically so here i will uh, also mention that you should not have to uh, submit separate application uh, to have this scholarship so when you apply they will automatically uh, uh, consider all these four factors and they will uh, put you in the student ranking and if you are in top ranked student you will receive this scholarship so that's all uh, for today's video i hope you find this uh, opportunity uh, interesting and uh, i hope one of you will get this uh, scholarship uh, if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and like the channel and share it with your friends thank you so much until next video take care bye bye